Yo, on this episode, we're going to be showing you guys some tutorials. So that way you guys can use the keyboard and mouse controls if it might be a little confusing for you guys. I'll be going over all the controls used in Gold Rush the game, which transfer very nicely over to Out of War. I've used these to win multiple competitions and will have taught majority of players how to use this. Keep in mind, you can use any layout you would like, but I'm just going to teach you guys the basics here. So let's go ahead and get on into this and uh, show you guys what it's all about. First up, we have the Excavator. As this is one of the most complex machines that there is to operate in most digging games because there's so much articulation between the tracks and the base, the boom, the bucket. It is just absolutely menacing for most people to even learn how to play these, but we're going to simplify these controls for you guys and separate them a little bit so that way you can go back and forth, switch modes, as well as use your bucket and your boom separately in stationary position. The first thing you need to do is separate the upper controls from the lower controls. That way you can move backward and forward and your arm, your booms and stuff like that do not move at the same time. All right, I'll make sure we keep this simple to follow. Make sure you guys go ahead and hit escape on the keyboard and you're looking for the option of controls. Make sure you go into the control option. It looks like this. Yes, it's very confusing, but do not worry. You're looking for vehicles. And then you're going to scroll down until you see the um, switch vehicle mode right here. All right. So what you're going to want to do is since you're in the, under the keyboard setting, you're going to want to change this to left shift or whatever you're going to be doing. But we're just going to stick with one simple basic thing. So go ahead and click on it and then click whatever key you would like to assign it to. I'm going to do left shift. None of these matter down here. Make sure these are not selected. Also, make sure that you do something very important and make sure you save it so that way your keys get locked in. Once you do this, go ahead and exit out. And now that you've set the shift key, you can now hit the button. You'll see down in the lower right hand corner, you can see that the button will actually make a switch between the modes. We're going to go ahead and switch back to the settings and we're going to start setting up your tracks now okay we're going to be changing these to go forward and backward and left and right that way you can have the controls for your base now that you've selected your input device which is left shift to change to the body mode so go ahead and escape again go into your controls make sure you click on your excavator make sure you're in this slot Go ahead and see the left steer left and right i have mine set to a and d make sure you're in the body mode so that way when you hit the shift you go into this steering mode as well so make sure you a and then d as well as your keyboard for a thing but make sure you're in this mode which this is the uh, body that is the arm. You can see how it's white and that one is, well, it's not slice. You can't see it. So the other one's body. So one's boom, one's body. That way you have W and S. Good to go. Make sure you save it again and you will be able to steer your vehicle the way you want. And if you set everything up correctly, your W should go forward. S should go backwards and your D should turn right and your A should turn left. If you were under the body mode on the switch with the shift key. So now we're going to set up the upper part of the controls with the boom and swivel. So that way you can uh, dig separately, independent from your tracks by just hitting the shift. Yep. Up, down, curl, and out, and bucket control as well. All right. Same thing again. You're going to hit escape. You're going to go into your options. You're going to go to controls. Make sure you select excavator. Then you're going to find where at the top where it says the excavator swing. Make sure you're on keyboard and make sure you're in this mode right here, which is the arm mode, upper attachments. I'm going to switch mine to A and D when we're in the other operation mode, as well as the excavator boom up and down. We're going to switch up to W and S to down and make sure we're in the right mode. This is important. Make sure you switch that. 
as well as excavator arm controller I mean keyboard and make sure you're in the right mode as well R and F is what we're switching those to excavator curl in and out we're going to go T and G this is for the bucket controls and we're going to make sure that we are as well on the same mode that we set here nothing else is there make sure you guys go ahead and save and exit out and then hit resume all right make sure you're in the arm mode turning right should now be when you press d and left when you press a as long as you're in your boom mode now and your tracks will not move and w goes up s goes down r goes out f goes in and t goes out on the curl and g goes curl in and that's everything that has to do with the excavator uh hopefully you guys followed that pretty easily and i have a cheat sheet for you guys so that way if you guys want to pause the video and set your keys up here's the drive mode and here is the work mode for the excavator next up we have the front end loader which is commonly called a wheel loader so go ahead and get into this these controls are much more simple there's not as many keys that you have to go over so a lot of them are going to be the exact same as they're set by default Make sure you can scroll over here to take a look at the loader. And then you're going to see the steering is A and D. You'll see those are all the same. No big deal. Leave these the same. Do not check these up and down. Do not change them to a, a work mode or a drive mode. All you're going to need to do is scroll down a little bit. And you're looking for the loader arm up and down. So you're going to want to change that to R and F. And then do not change these. Just leave them in the normal work mode. You do not need to change work modes same thing as the bucket tilt in and out which will be t and g make sure you go ahead and save this and then for r is up and f is down on the bucket and g is down and t is up pretty simple for that it's pretty much and here's the cheat sheet as well for the uh, front end loader should be everything that you guys need to know for that. It's a very simple piece of equipment to use. And uh, next we're going to be getting into the dozer. The dozer is pretty much the same as the front end loader, except there is a rear control for the um, the ripper. But the same thing applies. You do not need to change any of your drive stuff. You do not also need to switch the mode as well when you're in the dozer. Because it's not as complicated as to say the excavator where you have something that's turning and as well as driving. So you don't need to set any of that up. Just go ahead and keep the same WASD as well as dozer blade. You don't need to change that. You're gonna change that to R and F on the dozer blade up. For the tilt, just leave them the same. They don't really seem to work at the current version of the game. No matter if you change the controls, I can't you not get them to tilt. Uh, you're gonna be going for blade tilt left and right though. However, I'm gonna change these to left and right. And you also do not need to change them to a work mode as well. And then for your ripper left and lower, you're going to go R and H and T and G for the tilt in and out. Do not change the work modes. Go ahead and hit resume. And R brings the blade up. F brings the blade down. You have the right and left. And the tilt for T goes in on the ripper. And G brings it back out. Then H will bring the ripper down. And Y will bring it back up. And here's the cheat sheet for the drive in the dozer mode so that way you guys can stop and set all your keys up hopefully this video helped you if it did make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe if you guys can make sure you guys turn on all bell notifications for when we go live or post a new video other than that guys i think i'm going to go ahead and jump on into this if you want to check out some of this live stream footage we've been doing uh that you see the work done on this video you can go ahead and check out any of the live streams like i said hit that bell notification really helps getting down and if you are not 
Make sure to join the Discord. The link is in the description below. Thank you guys very much for watching. Catch you guys on the next one.